everyone, this is Chris from I-94RV. Today we're going to take a look at a 2011 Dutchman Sport 196RD. This will be stock number 440252, so if you go to www.i94rv.com, put that in the search bar, you'll be able to find that, find a bunch of photos on it. So the dry weight on this will be 3744, that's what was on that sticker. Um, so it's a 22 foot trailer. 19 feet inside and then three for the uh, tongue. We'll have an awning on it. It'll be a manual awning, not an electric. All right, going up front, the uh, previous owner just recently bought a spare tire, so that will come with the unit, as well as a 30 amp power cord. This unit's been kept in really good shape. Previous uh, owner used it very sparingly. There is one thing to notice on the front side. There's a little blemish that I'll show you. Um, I'll show you that right now. As you saw, the two 20-pound propane tanks. But here we have a little uh, little dent. Looks like it uh, may have had a rock um, come up and put a little crack in there. But that's been plastered over. And that's really the only major... Um, a ding or scratch or scrape on the outside. Other than that, the unit looks really clean. Um, looks like it was well maintained. On this side of the trailer are going to be most of your hookups there. Um, you saw the uh, black water valve and the gray water valve. And then you also have your city water and fresh water hookups. back you'll see you know just your lights you'll have a couple large windows in the in the rear of the trailer the other thing I'll mention is this is dual axle so um, you won't get as much of uh, you'll have a little more control than you would with a uh, single axle trailer go inside I'll show you the screen door on there help keep the bugs out Okay, real nice simple simple floor plan on this trailer. You have the bed up front, uh, bathroom in the middle, and then you're going to have a rear dinette, um, obviously, in the rear of the trailer. Like I said, previous owner used this very sparingly. I uh, used it for a couple weeks to take it to Sturgis, and other than that, it was kept uh, in indoor storage. So, well maintained, clean. I couldn't find any uh, any signs of water damage looking at all the seams uh, between the walls and the ceilings. In the kitchen you'll have a double sink. You also have uh, plenty of storage in there. You have about five or six, about six storage drawers just on that um, kitchen unit. You have a four, por four person table in the back. Yeah, so I'll just show you all that storage. two burner stove and below that you will have a furnace um, you also have a rooftop air conditioning unit so this should stay uh, stay well heated or well cooled um, basically in all seasons now that will be a couch I just had flipped it down on my first attempt at this video but basically I'll go ahead and slide that up so you'll see it's a couch which will be a, a drop down bed And underneath there, you're also going to have about 3 by 2 storage. Um, you'll have storage on top as well. So really a lot of storage for a trailer this size. Yeah, there you go again. Uh, just a large pantry. Um, RV fridge, made by Norcold. In the bathroom, it'll have its own sink. Um, no wet bath, the, sh the toilet's uh, separate from the shower. Shower, you'll get pretty good headroom. I stood in there, I was able to stand comfortably, and I was five, I'm about five foot ten. So yeah, very nice trailer, been well maintained, kept really clean. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, it's a great choice. Otherwise, we have plenty of other models here at I-94RV. 
If you want to contact me, give me a call on my cell at 815-985-1691. You could also reach me at the store, which is going to be 1-800-340-9500. All right, thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you.